By the end of this video, you will either agree with me or there is no second option. Subscribe before you leave. A common red herring used by Islamophobes whenever Islam is brought up is the apostasy law. Apostasy law, for those who don't know, is the execution of the one who defects from his religion. And it is not exclusive to Islam. It was very common in history. In the Bible, you will see the command in regards to the apostate is to stone him to death. In Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 6 to 9, the apostate is to be put to death for suggesting to worship other gods than one god. This in of itself explains the apostasy laws. In the Quran, Moses, peace be upon him, was ordained by God to execute apostates who worship the golden cow. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had ordered the apostates to be put to death. Now Islam does not allow vigilantism. Under the Islamic law, an apostate is given three days to repent, after which he would be executed. The reason for this is explained in the biblical verse that I gave you. Now when an apostate is let loose, he will vocalize his disbelief. He will socialize others into disbelief. He will sire children who will be raised in disbelief. We see this in Christian history as well, why this is bad. Philosophers used to mock and scorn Christianity and promote evils like fornication. In Arabic, we call it fahisha. Now, by that time, the church and the state had separated, which is why the philosophers and those apostates were not dealt with. Philosophers like John Stuart Mill or Immanuel Kant, who had very negative opinion of Christianity. Fast forward today, Christianity has declined. Church attendance is plummeting. The believing Christians are becoming more and more rare to find. Evils like fornication has spread across the Western world with basically every other person being a bastard, with the evil now reaching even the church. This is bad because what has replaced Christianity is godlessness and evil in the Western world. This is also why Islam executes apostates under Islamic jurisdiction. It is to protect our belief and our community from the dangers an apostate poses.